Stephen Hills. Just a quick update on the uh, Torel P34 that I'm building. Um, this uh, kit here. Uh, this is a repop. Uh, the sprues are marked, stamped uh, 1977, so it's uh, quite an old kit. And uh, if you've built any of the newer Tamiya, uh, this kit certainly shows its age. Um, certainly doesn't go together as easily as some of the newer ones. And uh, I don't know if I'd recommend this to a uh, to a newer builder, or even a particularly younger builder, for that matter, it's um, there are some difficulties that I've run into so far, but uh, that could be just me as well. But so this is the engine uh, comes with the. Um, wires for, to wire the engine. Uh, instead of using a black wire for the coil I went with the, the red one. That's just to add a bit of color really. I think this is the first kit that I built where you actually have to assemble the actual block. This is not the you know typically we're used to the two halves you just stick them together. This is not like this. You have to build the lower end, the lower part of here, the the uh, sump. Uh, no, not a sump, but just the lower part of the engine here. Um, you know, add some bits and bobs to the sides of it. Yeah, there's the front piece, back piece, sides, and top. So, so it's a bit of a uh, there's a bit of work putting that block together. I'll just show you on the, uh, on the instructions here. So you see here, here's the lower end of the engine that you're putting together. Then you're putting the front side on. Here's the ignition. It's in two parts. And then you come in here to the sides, top, back, the block. So, and you can see the same thing for the gearbox. The gearbox itself is in four pieces. So there's a bit of assembly required. And a lot of times it's not the clearest of how things are lined up. So here's the gearbox. And I have it mounted to uh, some suspension pieces here. I painted the uh, dull aluminum is what I use for this and for the engine. Uh, it's one of the valve covers. Just starting to detail that. Uh, it's the rear wing. I don't know why they molded it in blue and white. The whole thing has to be blue. But it should be easy to paint. And by far, the most frustrating part of this build has been these exhaust headers. Each pipe is a separate piece, and they glue into this collector. There are pins that there are pins on the pipe that go into the collector, but there is no alignment. There's no alignment guides or anything. So the way I did it was I inserted it, inserted the pieces into the block, tried to get them aligned, and then tried to install the collector that way. Uh, it was an absolute nightmare. I really had a, <laughs> must have took me about two or three hours just to get those uh, headers together. Um, uh, actually, at one point, I almost put the kit back in the box. Um, they were that frustrating to try and build. Uh, but again, that could just be me. Uh, the only other thing I have done is the upper shroud for the cockpit. Uh, this bar here is just a uh, alignment guide. 
that comes with the kit. When you assemble this to the kit, this, this bar comes out. It's just there to help you with the spacing and with the alignment. Uh, this is probably not showing up on the camera, but there's a seam here. But the fit on the seam is actually pretty good. So minimal amount of sanding to get rid of that seam. So it's, the fit on a lot of it is not too bad, but it's just uh, some of the alignment and um, yeah, it's just it's just parts of it are difficult and parts of it are <laughs> pretty simple. So. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much where I am so far. Um, I said in the beginning it probably wouldn't take me very long to build this, but I'm starting to think now that it may take a little while. Um, the way some of this goes together is uh, I can see a few places there are probably going to be some seam issues. So it's relatively, when you look at it a bit more closely, it's a bit, bit more complex than I actually thought it was going to be. So you can see, just looking at the instructions, that it's pretty busy. So uh, anyways, guys, that's uh, where I am with the P34. And um, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you stay tuned for the next update.